Betty White in Life with Elizabeth, featuring Del Moore. Incident number one in the life of Elizabeth occurred in the days before she and Alvin owned a car. As I recall it, Alvin had a rather stubborn attitude about buying a car. He either wanted one for each of them or nothing. That's how Elizabeth looked at the time. I can tell by the look on her face that she's plotting and planning a way to get Alvin to buy a car for himself. <laughs> Elizabeth, how are you tonight? Tell me something. Why won't Alvin buy a car? Oh, he thinks you'd always be borrowing it. You wouldn't do a thing like that, would you? <laughs> I'm going to convince him that he needs a car and you won't borrow it. <laughs> oh, you're going to try to make him think you're too stupid to learn to drive. Pretty sneaky, Elizabeth. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Hello, darling. Mm. Glad to see you. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh, just wonderful. Just wonderful. Good. Everything go all right? Just smooth. Everything's fine. We can soon fix that. Hmm? I said, where's your hat? Oh, I left it in the hall. <laughs> what are you doing, Elizabeth? Testing my reflexes, Alvin. Nothing happens. I don't seem to be hooked up. <laughs> Maybe your battery ran down. <laughs> Here, let me try it. Did you see that? Yes, I saw it. And whom do you think you're kidding? This happens to be little Alvin, you know. Did it again, honey. Look. Do you think maybe I have a short in my nerves? No, I think you've blown a fuse in your head. <laughs> all right, all right. Cut it out. Come on, cut it out. It won't work. I know your little tricks. It won't? It will not. You're trying to make me think that all of a sudden your knees are hooked up to your elbows. <laughs> well, it isn't all of a sudden. That's just it. It's been this way for years. Oh. That's why I, I can't scrub the floor. Why not? Every time I get down on my knees, my, my arms flap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Don't look so worried. I'm only kidding you. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, honey, that feels you good. like that. Mm -hmm. You know, seriously, though, my reflexes aren't too good. For instance, I, I bet I never could learn to... Drive a car. Oh, sure you could. If I thought you could, I'd buy one tomorrow. I know. Hmm? I, I, I said that's so. <laughs> Alvin. Hmm? Teach me to drive. Oh, honey, I'd have to rent a car. And besides, I'm much too... No, you wouldn't. You wait right there. I've got an idea. Elizabeth, where are you going? Uh, Elizabeth, there's no time for that foolishness now. Here, you... I want to get this out of the way. I've got to... Don't. Uh, Get the tea wagon over on its side. Do you want to help us? And this can be the car. Well, you always get carried the car. Which way? This way. Uh -huh. you get carried away with it. There we go. What kind of a car is this supposed to be? A Model T. <laughs> no, see, this can be the steering wheel, and the, and then this can be the grinder. And then the grinder. Have... Yeah, you know the, the thing you do this to when you want to go forward and it makes a grinding noise. Elizabeth, that is the gear shift. Who have you been driving with lately, anyway? Mama. Yes, yes. All right. <clears throat> Listen to me carefully. First, you turn the key on. The clutch is over there. The brake is by your right foot. The accelerator's here. There's a gas meter here. There's a choke here. Keep your foot on the clutch. Be sure. Whenever you get the car started, you put it into low gear. Shift into second gear. Gain a little more speed and throw it into high gear. Now, have you got all of that? Sure. How do I turn the key on? <laughs> Elizabeth, I'll turn the key on for you. Now, how am I going to learn to do it if you do everything for me? All right, go ahead. Start the car, Elizabeth. The starter's over there. Honey, I know all that. I've already started the car, and, and we're out on the highway. Well, that was quick. How fast are we going? Oh, about 30 billboards an hour. <laughs> all right, Elizabeth. Now, we're out on the highway. We're driving along, and there's a truck going this way. Now, we want to pass the truck. Go ahead. Let me see you pass it. Well, go ahead and pass him. I did. You didn't even turn the steering wheel. 
She was going the other way. <laughs> Elizabeth, there is another truck, and it is going just like this, the same way that we are going, and you want to pass him. Go ahead and pass him. Where are you getting all these trucks? Same place you're getting all of these stupid answers. Pass him. What kind of a truck is it? Elizabeth, it doesn't make any difference. Will you pass the truck? How's that? Elizabeth, you pass the truck on the right side. You'll get us both killed doing that. Never pass a truck on the right side. Don't be silly. We're in England. <laughs> You know, in England, they Elizabeth, Elizabeth, I know, I know. They drive on the wrong side of the road. Now, pay attention to your driving. We're driving... By the way, how did we get to England? Must be the fog I'm in. <laughs> Elizabeth, you may smirk all you like, but I'm going to teach you to drive this car if it takes me all night long. Quit looking at me. Keep your eye on the road. Now, <clears throat> we're driving along the highway. We're coming up a real steep hill. Now, the car won't make it at high, so what do you do? How steep is the hill? It's about like this. It's about like that. But what do you do? Get out and push. Elizabeth. Change tires? Elizabeth, I love you, honey, and you're wonderful, but you're about mm. to keep your eye on the road. You're the world's worst driver. I was hoping you'd say that. Elizabeth, this is one of your funny jokes. There's no time for that. If we're going up a steep hill and the car won't make it in high, you simply put the grinder, the shift, into second. Go ahead, put it in second, right there. That's it. Go on up. It won't make it in second, Alvin. It's a pretty steep hill, huh? Okay, let's put her in low. Come on, put her down here in low. There we are. It won't make it in low either. Well, what are we doing, driving up the front of Boulder Dam? <laughs> Take the wheel. Don't get excited. Hurry up. Don't get excited. Hurry up. Elizabeth. Don't get... going backwards. Wait a minute. Watch it. Watch it. Take a foot off the brake. Watch it. Honey, hold it. Watch, 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 watch the flying glass. Stand back. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'll just never be a good driver. I don't think you will either, Elizabeth. That's why I shall leave you at this point. You got an idea? Wait until I drive the new car home tomorrow night and judge for yourself. Good night, Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth, wouldn't it have been easier just to ask him to buy a car? Y you have more fun this way, huh? Aren't you ashamed? Incident number two in the life of Elizabeth occurred when Alvin and Elizabeth first moved into their present home on Elm Street. As I recall it, Alvin was down in the basement trying to replace a fuse or something, and not being too familiar with the wiring in the house, wasn't having too much luck. That's the basement I was telling you about. This is the very first time Alvin has ever been down here, for as I say, he and Elizabeth have only just moved in. The object on the left is a dummy. The object on the right is Alvin. You can tell them apart because the object on the right is checking the fuses. Let's see, fuse number one. Now, that should take care of the kitchen. This one sh should take care of the hall light, if I'm not mistaken. Alvin? Oh, hi, honey. Coming down to keep me company, huh? Well, I was scared up there all alone. Well, don't stand there. Come on down. Is it safe? Elizabeth, I will personally lead you through the trackless waste. Come on. What's over there? Three tigers, but I think they're asleep. Elizabeth, mm -hmm. don't be ridiculous. Come on. Well, good shot, Annie Oakley. <laughs> It's all well and good for you to stand there grinning like a Cheshire cat, but I'm scared. When I'm scared, I don't fool around. What are you afraid of? Spiders. Oh, honey. I got him. Right between the eye. What you mean between the eyes? Alvin, everybody knows that there's only one eye in spider. Everything's <laughs> <laughs> back to normal. Okay, anybody that tells jokes like that has to be brave. Okay. What are you doing down here, anyway? 
Hall light is out. I came down to check the fuses. Would you would you move out of my way, honey, please? Something like this one right here should be it. <coughs> Why does this thing come on? <laughs> Elizabeth, that happens to be a dummy. For a minute, I thought I shot her head off. Elizabeth, if you'll stop acting silly, I could use your help. <laughs> Elizabeth, please. Help me here. What do you want me to do? I want you to run upstairs and let me know if the hall light comes on. Go ahead, run along. All the way upstairs by myself? Elizabeth, you can take your rifle. Go on. <laughs> You'll be sorry when you find me dead on the stairs in the morning. All right, on the stairs. Let me know when the light comes on. All right, honey, I'm putting in the new fuse. What happened? She just defrosted the refrigerator. All right, we'll try the other one then. Go on upstairs again. I'm going to be spooky up there. Oh, Elizabeth, don't be ridiculous. Come on upstairs. But... Heavens. Okay, trying the other one now. Okay, what happened? The porch light went on. Elizabeth, don't be ridiculous. We don't even have a fuse in here for the porch light. The porch light across the street? Yeah. All right, it must have been a coincidence then. Go out, try the other one. Go on upstairs again. Oh, Alvin, please, can't we do this in the daylight, please? Will you stop being such a baby about this? Ashamed of you. Heavens. All right, okay, here she goes. What happened? Elizabeth. The car headlights went on. Elizabeth, come here, just sit down, Elizabeth. Sit down, please. Elizabeth, the car lights didn't go on, did they? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you haven't even been upstairs, have you? Why not? I was scared. Elizabeth, do you think that you could possibly do this for me? Do you think that you could stay down here while I go upstairs and see if the light goes on? Well, I'll try, Alvin. And turn this fuse in this socket. Honey, I'm afraid of electricity. Elizabeth? I'll do it. All right. Wait till I get up there. Okay, Alvin. I, I'm going to turn it now. Alvin? Alvin? What's that noise? Alvin? That was the washing machine. Well, you told me to turn that. Never mind what I told you. Let's try the next one right here. All right? All right. Any time to get upstairs. Okay, Alvin. Here goes. You're a coward. I know it. You're afraid of electricity. You're afraid of spiders. You're afraid of a dummy. I'm a sissy. You're afraid to be alone. You're afraid of noises. Well, aren't you ever frightened of anything? Well, of course I am. But I'm frightened about big things like a runaway truck or dynamite sticks or things like that. <laughs> yeah. What was that? I don't know. It was a little mouse. But anyway. What about a runaway truck? It was a mouse. Where was any mouse? Did you see that? Who's the Oh, get cat. 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 Oh, get
Are we even? We're even. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Incident number three in the life of Elizabeth occurred the night Alvin asked his boss home for dinner. And the really remarkable part of it is that Alvin told Elizabeth about it ahead of time. That's Alvin welcoming his boss to his home. The character clutching his hat is Mr. William J. Fuddy, lord of all he surveys, including Alvin. Okay, fellas, you can come to life now. May I take your hat, Mr. Fuddy? Before I remove my hat, there's something you must know. Yes, Mr. Fuddy? I'm wearing a new toupee. <laughs> well, as long as it doesn't interfere with your appetite. Stop chattering, Alvin. <laughs> yes, Mr. Fuddy. <laughs> Mr. Fuddy, that's perfectly normal. Alvin? Yes. I prefer not to discuss the subject any further. Well, just as you say, Mr. Fuddy, but I see no reason to make a fuss over Where's it. Elizabeth? Oh, she'll be here in a minute. Oh. Elizabeth! Oh, that reminds me. I have a little gift for Elizabeth in the car. Oh, I'll nice. be right back. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth, honey. I thought I heard Mr. Fuddy's voice. You did, honey. He'll be right in. Look, Mr. Fuddy is wearing a new toupee tonight. So what? Lots of men wear them. Oh, honey, not Mr. Fuddy. Look, he's very sensitive about his toupee. You should have heard the production he made of it a moment ago. I can't see why anybody would be self-conscious about a thing like Elizabeth, that. Elizabeth, please, my boss, Honestly, don't... sometimes I think you men are more vain than women. Elizabeth, that kind of an attitude will lead to one thing for us, unemployment. Now, do me a favor. Stay away from the subject completely. Don't mention hair, scalp, or anything that has to do with the head or the hair when he gets here. Well, Alvin, for, for heaven's sake, give me credit for a little common sense, will you? After all, there are a lot of things to talk about besides Mr. Buddy's head. What did you say? Uh, she, she was just saying that when it comes to bosses, you're way ahead, Mr. Fuddy. Oh. <laughs> that, that's right. Hello, Mr. Fuddy. Hello, Dinner Elizabeth. Just about I, I brought a little gift for the charming hostess. You know, Alvin's been telling me what a wonderful cook you are, and I've been looking forward to this evening for a long time. Elizabeth, my face is down here. Oh, of course. Well, sure, Miss... Oh, how sweet of you. So, Thank well, you ever nothing, so much. I... Why don't we... We're all ready to go. Why don't you sit right down here? Oh, Mr. Fuddy. Sit here, are. Mr. Fuddy. And, darling, you sit over here, here please. Uh, yes, dear, I will. <laughs> um, this table looks wonderful. Yeah. Elizabeth, what are we having for dinner tonight? The scalpini. <laughs> What's that about a scalp? Oh, uh, uh, no, she said veal scallopini. That's Italian meat done in Italian style. They cut it in little pieces. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think you'll like it, Mr. Fuddy. We have a wonderful butcher. Oh, well, good butchers are hard to find these days. What's his name? You wouldn't be interested, Mr. Fuddy. Just a common, ordinary... Well, why not, darling? He's a wonderful butcher. Oh, don't pay any attention to Alvin. What's his name? <laughs> Mr. O'Hare. <laughs> Oh, Sullivan. O'Toole? Oh, dear. Uh, tell me about the price of the meat, honey, would you please? It's going up now. Well, no matter what the prices are, it's never too much to pay. <laughs> Did I say too pay? You couldn't say too expensive. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth, I think you'd better... I think I'd better get the food. Yes, I think you'd better... <laughs> Charming girl. <laughs> How are things at the office, Mr. Fuddy? Well, sales are way down. Really? The salesmen are driving me crazy. They oh. keep coming to me with crazy ideas. Yes, well... They seem to forget that I'm head of the firm. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Mr. Fuddy. You have to keep a firm head. Absolutely. Have. Uh, Elizabeth, don't talk. Just service, would you please, too? Well, all I meant was, sweetheart, if there's anything Mr. Fuddy doesn't need, it's hair-brained I... Is. <laughs> Elizabeth, uh, just... Care for some cheese to pay? So right. Oh, thank you. My, my, this looks delicious here. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. <laughs> Alvin, would you care for some diet? Thank you, dear. You should see Elizabeth when we put that If you burn this face, she used to put some down on it. <laughs> that must have been a hair-raising experience. Hair-raising? <laughs> Yeah, you bet. <laughs> How about some fresh wigs? Pigs! Uh, not right now, thank you. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful food, Alvin. 
Your thanks. wife is a good cook. Yes, she is. <laughs> Alvin, do you feel a draft in here? No, I don't. Alvin, where are the thumbtacks? Elizabeth! <laughs> What's the matter with you two? Nothing. We do this all the time, just sort of... <laughs> Mr. Fuddy, it's time you and I had a little talk. Elizabeth, no. Yes. Uh, unemployment. Uh, Alvin told me you were self-conscious about your new toupee, and, and in trying to avoid the subject, I made a fool of myself. Elizabeth, some other time. In the morning now. Now, Alvin, back... please, let her talk. The office. Well, well it's Elizabeth. true, Mr. Fuddy. I think that we ought to, to talk about our sensitivities, and then that way we're, we're no longer self-conscious about them. You mean, like when people walk up to me and say, Hi, egghead. I should just laugh it off? That's exactly what I mean. Of course you should. <laughs> Gee, everybody's self-conscious about something. Um, well, the shape of their nose or, or freckles or something. You should laugh and talk about it. That way you get rid of the phobia. <laughs> You want to try it? You're a smart girl, Elizabeth. Of course I'll try. <laughs> well. Alvin, mm -hmm. call Mr. Fuddy an egghead. Who, me? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, call no, me an egghead. Here, here, maybe this will help. Uh, there, now, call me an egghead. Should I really? Go ahead. <laughs> Mr. Fuddy, you're a... You're an egghead. <laughs> <laughs> try melon head. Oh, I go on, go on, Alvin. Try melon head. <laughs> Have a go at it. <laughs> uh, Mr. Fuddy, you're a, a melon head. <laughs> you're fired. Uh, Mr. Fuddy, you said that you, you told me that you wouldn't make it if I... Did you see the expression on his face? You... I didn't mean it, Alvin. Oh, I'm not fired? Oh, oh. this is wonderful, Elizabeth. This is fun. <laughs> what are you self-conscious about? <laughs> well... These bony shoulders, for one thing. Oh, they're not bony, are they, Alvin? Oh, well, to me, I... they are. <laughs> well, then, let's talk about them. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, do you mind if I call you Clara Clavicle? <laughs> <laughs> now, I wish I thought of that. <laughs> oh, well, Elizabeth, that dress that you're wearing would look better hanging on a nail. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of this, Alvin. Now it's Alvin's turn. You must be sensitive about something. I hate to disappoint you, but I'm not sensitive about anything. <laughs> uh, hi, fatso. <laughs> you know, Alvin's gonna outlive all of us. How is that? <laughs> the survival of the fat. <laughs> Been having so much fun, we've let the food get cold. Oh. Uh, would you please pass the cheese to pay bony? <laughs> you sure you would rather some fresh wings? Oh, no, <laughs> Say, how about some scallopini, egghead? Oh. You're fired. I quit. <laughs> hey. Yay. Hey. Say goodbye to the people. Goodbye, Goodbye, everybody. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. It's quite a clever. Yes. Well, the next one to say goodbye to you is the lovely star of our show, Betty White. Thank you, Jack. And thank you. Thank you. And now, until we see you again, once more, goodbye, everybody.